All right, guys, so the day has finally arrived. I got my Halloween shirt on right here, guys. I pre-ordered the Halloween 4Ks from Shout Factory Screen Factory, so I'm gonna go outside right now and check and see if those are in the mailbox or on my front doorstep because they should be here, right? And the American Psycho Steelbook, I also pre-ordered that from Best Buy. Let's go check and see if they're here. All right, guys, let's go. Oh, well, nothing on the front doorstep. I mean, Shout Factory usually leaves the box uh, right in front of the door, so that's kind of funny that they didn't do that uh, this time, but maybe maybe they uh, stuffed it in the mailbox. You guys check in the mailbox now. Nope, empty. Um, maybe they left it on the back porch? As moment of truth. Son of a bitch. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media Channel. I'm Ken, and it's time for another Tuesday Blues Day Blu-ray trip. I am here right outside of a Best Buy, guys. I have my wife with me, uh, married with media. Michelle is here along for the ride today, here for emotional support, because I have a feeling I'm going to need it today. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to see the Halloween 4Ks on the shelf. I'm going to want to get them, even though I have them pre-ordered, and they're supposed to be in my house already. I ordered from Shop Factory. I don't know what the problem is, but I'm going in there to hopefully find the Universal Monsters 4K collection. That is the main thing on my agenda today. Um, and we also had Elvira's Haunted Hills that came out today. We had the American Psycho Steelbook. Don't know if I'm going to see that in stores or not. And uh, yeah, it's a big day, guys. Big day for collecting. Big day for new movies, new Blu-rays. Are you ready to go in? Um, I'm going to set this one out. You're going to set this one out? <laughs> You're going to go into Walmart with me at least? Yeah, I'll go into Walmart. Maybe Target. All right, let's go in there and see what they got. In the Best Buy. Well, they actually have the Halloween 4Ks in my store. I didn't get to go out last week, so have no idea if they have them. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, they just had that Universal Monsters collection and maybe some steelbooks. Hopefully, we'll find out. Guys, so first thing that I am seeing is Space Jam: A New Legacy. They do have the Blu-ray. They have the 4K for $32.99. Blu-ray was $24.99. And they have this steelbook that's actually pretty nice steelbook. I don't mind this steelbook. And then they have the other Space Jam for $23.99. I guess they put that back in front and center. They got this one right here for the older one for $33.99. They do have Black Widow over there. They have the Forever Purge down here, which I didn't get to see last week because I didn't come out last week. They also have a Knight of the Animated Dead, so I might actually pick this one up today. Thank God that they do have plenty of copies of the Three from Hell Steelbook. I mean, I pre-ordered it two weeks ago, still haven't got it, but yeah, they have it in stores, so good for everybody else, I guess. They have the American Psycho Steelbook in stores, plenty of copies of these, but thank goodness I pre-ordered it because I wouldn't have been able to get it in stores. And yeah, the pre-order still isn't at my house, but yeah, that's that's why you pre-order, right? So you can get stuff before it comes out. So I am seeing a couple of copies of this Halloween 4K right here, guys. And it's in the twist uh, slot for $15.99, but I think it's supposed to be over here for $26.99. So again, thank goodness I pre-ordered from Shout because I still haven't got that order in. And these are $10 cheaper right here in stores. But yeah, I'm glad I pre-ordered. Just keep telling myself that. I also have the Universal Classic Monsters Collection, guys. Thank goodness they have this one. This is the one that I definitely wanted to grab today for $64.99. They also have Escape Room Tournament of Champions for $22.99. That was another new release for today. Uh, trying to see if anything else is new that I haven't seen. The Transformers movie, this one came out last week with the, uh, the 4K, the slipcover for that one. I am seeing this Mandy Steelbook down here, guys, for $12.99, so it's on sale. That is an awesome steelbook. I do wish it was in 4K, though, but I know that that doesn't have a 4K. I might have to grab that one. So just got out of the Best Buy, and I did grab two things in there. Went ahead and canceled my American Psycho Steelbook, which I had on pre-order, and I picked it up in stores because they had like 20 copies of this inside. Uh, so yeah, I don't even know why I worried about the pre-order. I don't even know why I'm pre-ordering in general. I just need to start coming out every single week and grabbing the stuff in stores. What do you What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Should I pre-order or stop pre-ordering? I, I feel like I have to address you because you're in the car with me. Yeah, um, <laughs> I think you should stop pre-ordering. Yeah, it's uh, I don't know. It's a sham. Uh, I'm so disappointed in, in the pre-ordering. Like I, I still haven't got my Three from Hell Steelbook, which they had that in there also. Um, <laughs> 
but I couldn't cancel that one because it was in process. It's supposed to be due to me on Monday, so it's a full two weeks after it came out. And yeah, the Shout Factory stuff, which I'm still angry about. I'm trying to stay more positive with this Blu-ray hunt, though. I'm trying to stay more positive. I'm going to wait for them. They didn't arrive on time, so right now I feel like I can just wait a week or two or however long it'll take. But I ordered them from Shout Factory. I'm already seeing people that pre-order from Best Buy getting theirs. Amazon, I'll probably get at the same time, and those were $10 cheaper uh, on both of those. So I, I basically paid more for posters, which I didn't really care about the posters. I just wanted to get them in earlier, which you usually do from Shout, but this time, in this case, you did not. So got American Psycho Steelbook. Um, and I also got this Universal uh, Classic Monsters 4K collection, which I'm really excited about. This is another one of the big releases this week that I did not pre-order because Best Buy didn't have this one available uh, to pre-order on their site. So I'm happy about that. This was only $65 in stores, and it was like $72, I think, on Amazon. So it was actually cheaper um, in stores. So yeah, I'm excited to watch these. And uh, American Psycho on 4K, maybe do an unboxing for both on the channel. But yeah. Uh, you ready to head to our next uh, destination? I'm ready, as long as it's Target. We're going to uh, Dollar Tree. No, I'm joking. We're going to Target. Let's do it. All right, everybody. Let's see what Target has in store for us today. Maybe some exclusive copies of Space Jam A New Legacy? That would be nice. All right, let's see what they got. All right, I guess no new movies at Target today. Let's go check in the back. All right, so it looks like they have replaced out the Blu-rays and 4Ks with books. I heard about this happening, but uh, I didn't think it would happen here yet. Blitz Spirit, I think this came out last week, but this is just the DVD. Twist came out last week, but that's just the Blu-ray. Still got copies of Zack Snyder's Justice League. It appears they put the Blu-rays and DVDs over here on this side. Uh, but this is a smaller section right here. So this is where the books used to be. Let's see, Saw or Spiral is on sale on Blu-ray, guys, for 13 bucks right now at Target. So that's actually a pretty good deal for that one. I have a cool new Halloween 2 Michael Myers figure here. It's actually pretty awesome. I don't know who made this one. Oh, this is a NECA figure. So that is, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, they have a new Toonie Terror that I haven't seen before. I haven't seen Chucky and Tiffany. Uh, before but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get that not the biggest Bride of Chucky fan here some of their five dollar movies over here but uh, yeah they have significantly downgraded their physical media section guys so definitely definitely a sad sight to see man this day just keeps getting more and more depressing as we go so at first when I went in there you know they didn't even have anything in the new release section stocked like at all not even the stuff from last week all that was empty um, both up front and back in the actual physical media section and then I look over and the entire wall they used to have 4ks and steel books and all of the Marvel Blu-rays and Star Wars Blu-rays and all that stuff, all of that was wiped out. It was gone um, and replaced with books. So then I was like, okay. And then the other side as well, it had like records and uh, CDs and stuff over there. So I'm like, did they just wipe out everything except for like the standees or the new releases, uh, which didn't have anything on them either, except for the side that had the Disney stuff. And then I, I walk over to the other side where the books used to be, but it's a smaller section, but now that's where they had the Blu-rays and the 4K. So it looks like they have downgraded their Blu-ray section significantly at this Target uh, location. So hopefully they're not all like this. I've, I've seen pictures of this happening already at other people's targets. So, uh, but yeah, then they came for my target. So I, I don't know guys, it's getting depressing out here. That's for sure. They didn't have any of the new releases stocked, but what I did get that I was actually kind of excited about, uh, was a book. I got the, uh, dark force rising as a part of the Thrawn trilogy. Um, and this is book two. So they're re-releasing these old legacy Star Wars uh, books that I used to read when I was a kid. And this was like the first, uh, I think, big trilogy that came out um, after the movies. I think these were written in the 80s uh, by Timothy Zahn. So I was excited to get this one because I have all these books still like in a box somewhere. But they're all like, you know, wrinkled up and, and uh, got ripped and torn edges and stuff like that. A little small paperback. So I'm happy to add these. Uh, restocked. Even if I don't read them anytime soon, I just want all three of them. They had the other one in there, that, but I thought I'd wait till maybe next week to pick that one up. Um, and then they're also doing like the Darth Bane books as well. So it's really cool that they're re-releasing these um, and little nice, uh, little nice new covers and stuff like that. So 
I was excited about that, but yeah, no new Blu-rays or anything in there. I mean, the only thing they would have had was Space Jam and Escape Room anyway, so I wasn't going to pick those up. Still waiting on my wife, though. She's inside trying on clothes, doing whatever. I'll just hang out in here for a little bit, and then we'll close out the video at Walmart. Let's do it. You want to go to Walmart? Sure. Is there a possibility that we might meet Mrs. Hillbilly Hunter? Um, Maybe one day, but I don't think today's that day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Woo -wee, we are back again at Walmart, guys. This is the Hillbilly Hunter. We're going to go in there and we're going to pick up that LeBron James remake of a Michael Jordan Space Jam, maybe. Maybe they have an exclusive in there, maybe an exclusive VHS tape or something like that. Maybe they might have them Universal Monsters as well. Maybe, and just maybe, they might have Halloween 3, Season of the Witch on VHS. Let's do it. Holy crap, guys. This is unprecedented. They actually have Space Jam in stock here at Walmart. They have the 4K for $29.96. So this is actually cheaper than Best Buy. They have the Blu-ray for $24.96. They have the DVD for $19.96. They have a two film collection with the new one and the original on Blu-ray for $27.96. Didn't even know that was coming out. And we also have a DVD version of that as well with a Walmart exclusive cover for $22.96. I really do like this cover with the basketball. That's actually a pretty cool design. Uh, for a DVD so yeah that's pretty cool we got the forever purge down here guys on a 4k and blu-ray again this one came out last week but I didn't get to come out this week uh, so I'm showing it to you now we've also got some Cruella 4k's in stock so they actually have their exclusive cover and the other cover as well so pretty cool now we actually have some new releases in Walmart and escape room tournament of champions is here for 1996 but that is not in stock as of right now but it looks like they have an escape room one and two on dvd for 22.96 the horror hits section guys so more of the uh spooky dvds from walmart we have halloween 2018 with this cool cover most of these look like dvds except for this two-pack adams family collection uh which i would actually get if it wasn't for the first one coming out on 4k but i don't know i do want adams family values on blu-ray they also had paw patrol halloween heroes but that's scary Annabelle, the three film collection, the Swamp Thing TV series. I think that's all stuff we've seen. Let's go around to this other side, though, uh, because they have this really cool Motel Hell DVD cover. And I already have this um, in my collection. I got the Screen Factory Steelbook, but that's that's a really cool cover for that DVD right here. I think this is, it's saying everything in this section is $9.96. So, yeah, seems a little bit too steep for a DVD, but that's actually, a, that is a really nice cover. I like that cover. Um, we got Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2 on Blu-ray right here, guys. So that's a cool little devil pack. We also got a Nightmare on Elm Street 4 film collection right here. We got the Peninsula. We got the Stephen King uh, Triple Terror collection. So these are all the TV miniseries for Salem's Lot, It, and Stephen King's The Shining. I didn't even know they had a Salem's Lot um, with Rob Lowe and Don Donald Sutherland. So that's that's a pretty cool set. They got this set down here, five film collection, that's cool. Invisible Man, Tremor, Shrieker Island. I have this Carrie three film set with the Rage 2 on it as well. I had the other two Carries, but I don't have the Rage Carrie 2. So that's a cool, this is a cool looking set. I like the artwork on that one as well. Here they got more family movies, which is the House and the Clock in its Wall and Casper in a double pack. The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, so yeah. Some cool stuff over here at Walmart. More new stuff right here, guys, that I haven't seen yet. The Amityville Moon, which is like an Amityville werewolf movie for $9.96. They also got that Purge 5 movie collection on DVD uh, for $29.96. So that's a little bit steep for DVD. Uh, they also got Naked Singularity on DVD. So no Blu-ray with that one I've seen announced for $9.96. They got Fred Berry, which is a new RLJE title, Shutter Original. Uh, I'm not seeing the Blu-ray for that one, but uh, yeah, they got it on uh, DVD. So that's a really cool cover for that one. Um, Domino, Battle with the Pones. You got a Snoop Dogg movie with David Arquette. All right. Snoop Dogg is doing it right here at Walmart. Death Alley right here, guys. You got The Vigil. Uh, you got Sensor right here, guys. The Power, which is another Shutter exclusive. Boys from County Hell, the DVD. I was looking for the Blu-ray of that one at Best Buy earlier. That's the RLJE title I was talking about. Dinosaur Hotel. All right, so we got some cool Walmart titles here today. You got The Last End down here, guys. So that's a cool looking cover on that one. More exclusive Walmart DVDs. You got Seagull right here, guys. Seagull, that looks cool. The Black Pumpkin. 
I will definitely be waiting for the Dollar Tree for this one. I'm sure it'll be there in a couple of months. Look like they have all the Leica Shop Factory exclusives here with Kubo and the Two Strings, Coraline, Paranorman, and the Box Trolls. I do really want um, Paranorman. I do want Paranorman. That is one that I actually am thinking about picking up. It's just keep on coming, guys. We have CI8 right here. I don't know what the hell that is. You have After the End. I think that's a new one. That might be one I've seen before, though. The Evil Next Door. You got the God of War 2 DVD. The Furnace. Fun House right here. Haphazard. Unit 11. Village of the Vampire. Witches of Blackwood. The Legend of Gobi. Okay. Okay, guys. <laughs> Some cool stuff here at Walmart today. All right, so I am done. I am out of Walmart, and Walmart actually delivered today. They actually had some stuff in stock. They had Space Jam out. They had all the exclusives. They didn't have Escape Room Tournament of Champions. Um, but yeah, they had Space Jam. They had a cool like horror section with some stuff. They had a new Snoop Dogg DVD exclusive to Walmart. So that was pretty cool. What do you think about that? Should I grab the Snoop Dogg movie? No, I'm thinking not, but I didn't realize the new um, Escape Room came out. It did. But it wasn't in there. No, we can, we can maybe Redbox that one. Yeah, if maybe. you're interested in watching that one. Yeah, but yeah, I enjoyed the first one. But yeah, um, we're done with the Blu-ray hunting trip. This is your first time joining me in one of these things. What, what did you think? Was it as exciting as I make it seem in the videos? Um. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to answer that. You yeah. don't have to answer that. But I'm happy that you got to tag along with me today. The kids are with uh, the grandparents today. Uh, so you got to come along and, and see what it was like. And uh, yeah, we can use this moment to kind of promote our our channel married with media definitely subscribe to that i'll put the link down below um in the description but me and my wife do tv reviews movie yeah. reviews right now we're doing a 13 days of uh of horror, horror and uh we're watching movies uh for the first time for you in some yeah. cases uh and putting up our reactions on the channel we just did scary stories to tell in the dark and sleepaway camp and sleepaway camp so yeah all kinds of content over on our channel go check us out over there and uh yeah today look i try to be positive most of the trip, I'm still kind of sore on the Halloween 4Ks. They haven't arrived. I ordered them from Shop Factory. They're supposed to be in either by the end of this week or maybe early next week. Um, around the same time that everybody that ordered them off of Amazon is getting them in. Um, and everybody that ordered them off of Best Buy has already got them. So Shop Factory dropped the ball, in my opinion, on this one. But at least I got the Universal Monsters 4K collection. I got the American Psycho 4K Steelbook. I'm happy enough. It was a good day. Target sucks uh, because they didn't have anything out in their new releases, but uh, I appreciate everybody watching. There's not going to be a World's Biggest Collectors uh, tonight. We will be back next Tuesday, though, and uh, yeah, as for tonight, I think we're just going to probably binge watch some scary movies till our faces melt off. Yeah, I think we're going to watch some more on our list. Yeah, since the kids aren't home, we're just going to watch scary movies all night. Have a good time, and yeah, guys, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button, and also comment down below everything you picked up this week. What did you see in stores? Did you see all the Halloween 4Ks? Did you get those in yet? Comment down below, guys, and we'll see you later.